John, you and I have done a lot of insider trading cases. Um, what do you see currently being uh, topics and targets the government is pursuing? The SEC in recent years has developed incredible technology to identify illegal patterns of trading occurring out there. We're seeing more and more insider trading prosecutions and investigations. You, you mentioned an interesting overlap. We see more and more how the SEC is working side by side with the FBI and the Justice Department in insider trading cases. Can you give a couple of examples how you and in, in, with your cases avoided criminal charges or even penalties in insider trading cases in recent years? So there's always a danger that a civil insider trading investigation by the SEC can be transferred to the Department of Justice for criminal prosecution. We want to avoid that. We need to work immediately and have a good relationship with the SEC to resolve this issue as quickly, efficiently, and fairly as possible and try to prevent any fallout from it going to the Department of Justice. Um, from your frontline experience that also covers um, looking at these cases when you were at the Justice Department, um, do you see any particular trading uh, patterns that make the SEC or the FBI target you more likely as a business owner than others? Generally, the insider trading patterns that are very common that we're seeing almost every week are those where an insider has tipped off several friends who in turn tipped off several of their friends, and you have a, literally a, a social circle of people that all engage in the exact same trades on the exact same day in the exact same stock. What are some first indication that an individual or a company is under insider trading investigation from your experience. Is it an SEC subpoena? Is it the FBI knocking at the door? Uh, what, what is your experience? Generally, the first contact you'll have with the SEC in an insider trading investigation is you'll either receive a phone call or a subpoena. Somebody received a SEC subpoena or some form of government communication, uh, what would be your first step advice to that individual? They need to immediately reach out to an experienced securities attorney to help them navigate through those very complex federal investigations. Would you be available for free and uh, confidential consultations in these types of I cases? I am always available. Please feel free to contact me for a free consultation.